Why, hello. Hi. Guys, tell me how it's going. Any pee whatsoever? I think maybe one time, which is really good. Since we started him on some meds, we saw an improvement, which gave me hope. That is so fantastic. Woo, we're yeah. home free. We're home free. I'm really happy that Miko hasn't peed on anything. We couldn't be happier. You got the meds from the doctor? Uh, we saw the drastic change in Miko almost immediately. You're right. Yeah. Now, they tell me they went to the vet, and just as I suspected, the vet said that Miko would benefit from being on mood-stabilizing medication. Now, Miko appears to be a cat that suffers from a chemical imbalance. The meds are working, which in turn helps him to no longer pee inappropriately. Last time I was here, we talked about the concept of the handoff. Were you able to do that? Yes, and she's been able to pet him. We're starting to see him be more social with the family. That is a relief to me. The handoff exercise is essential, both in a physical and emotional sense, for Alex to be able to let go of Miko and know that he's going to be well taken care of, and for Gina to develop that sense of loving Miko, not just having to take care of an animal, but to love that animal. Has this experience done something to your relationship? I understand my mom's frustration. I don't blame her for getting as mad as she does. I think that Alex and I are more on the same page. We kind of become more of a team about it. So here's what I want to do. Last time I was here, I gave you the handoff exercise. So Gina, you and I, let's sit down. Alex, you want to go grab Miko? Yes. And let's try this exercise. The reason I had them do the handoff exercise was to see how Gina and Miko reacted to each other. But with Alex there, it provided some safety for both of them. Show me what you guys were doing, all right? So now we would have you doing the pet. Gina, how are you feeling right now? Oh, I'm OK. OK. Um, you take over. That's it. Gina, that's great. To see Miko calm and relaxed and to see Gina petting Miko without getting attacked was amazing. I mean, the first couple times I met him, he was a dangerous cat. Today, he's not. That's a huge step that he needed to take. And you, my buddy, are making me very happy. Now listen, we still have a contract to talk about. Yes, we do. <laughs> so let's go on downstairs. At the end of all this, this crazy day, this crazy couple of weeks, there's the matter of this contract. I can't leave this place until I know that Gina's going to sign this contract, because I need to know that Miko's got a home. So the contract that dreaded contract that I gave you the first day I met you. This here is a contract saying you will not rehome him. Now it's for you to decide if we're getting someplace with Miko. what it all boils down to, right? It was just like, oh my gosh, she just signed that. I didn't think she was going to. I thought we were going to talk about it. So it, it makes me feel good. Both you guys, you're amazing. You really are. Came in here to work with a difficult cat, a violent cat that was tearing a family apart. I leave, and the family has not been torn apart. They've been sewn together tighter than ever. Gina is committed to keeping Miko around, and Alex can go off to her first year of college knowing that Miko is safe, so I couldn't be happy.